Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we are diving into the three fundamental domains of Bloom's taxonomy. Whether you are a student, teacher or lifelong learner, understanding this framework can transform the way you approach learning and teaching. First, let's talk about the Bloom's taxonomy is developed by educational psychologist Benjamin Bloom in 1956. This framework is designed to categorize and classify educational goals into different levels of complexity and specificity. It's divided into three domains, cognitive, affective and psychomotor. Starting with cognitive domain, which is perhaps the most widely used, this domain focuses on intellectual skills and knowledge acquisition. It involves six levels starting from simple recall or recognition of facts as remembering to the more complex tasks like creating. Let's see how this works with an example. Imagine a science class. At a remembering level, students might recall the parts of a plant. By the creating level, they could be designing an experiment to test how different environments affect plant growth. Teacher can use this domain to structure learning objectives, assessments and activities that promote higher order thinking. Next up is the affective domain, which deals with emotions, attitudes and feelings. This domain ranges from simple awareness and reception, receiving to more complex levels like categorizing, where values are integrated into one's personality. For instance, in an environmental club, students at the receiving level might listen to issue about recycling. By the categorizing stage, they actively advocate and lead recycling initiatives, showing deep commitment to environmental values. This domain is crucial for developing personal responsibility and social interactions, both vital in educational settings. Finally, we have the psychomotor domain, which is about physical movement, coordination and use of the motor skills areas. Development in this domain progresses from basic movements, perception to skilled actions, origination, where new movements are created. Consider a PE class learning a new sport. Initially, students understand basic movements. As they advance, they might develop new strategies or movement unique to their skill set. Educators can use this to help students develop physical skills and precise movements through structured practice and feedback. So there you have it. Bloom's taxonomy helps educators create targeted learning experiences and assess student progress across cognitive, affective and psychomotor domains. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.